I just remember we all sort of congregated in a, in a hotel in London with no, no sort of pre-sessions uh, at all. So we just uh, showed up on a say I don't know, Wednesday evening or whatever, and we were flying out Thursday morning. And uh, and it, it, back in eighty, you know, you you only I was okay. I played against Andy Irvin, or I played against Ollie Campbell, or I played against Bill Beaumont, but we didn't really know each other. I knew no. knew the we knew the English club players better because we played club rugby club against them. Yeah. But um, so it, 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 there was a there was a sort of um, apprehension in terms of you know, am I good enough to be with these guys? Secondly, I suppose excitement really of um, of mm. you know, thought of playing with them as well, you know, and, and competing for your spot because whilst it's great to be picked for the um, you know, for the Lions, but then once you're on there, you, you want to play in a test team. Because when you think about it, most of the guys going on the tour uh, used to be number one in their own country and own club. Uh, suddenly now they're in an environment they're, that they're up against best uh, opposition, best, from the, rest, best yeah. from the other country. So it's a, uh, it's, it, again, it's, it's a new experience. You talk about the cultures and, and blending and all the rest of it. But you know, when you look at somebody, whether they're with you or not, and would you agree with that? It was, yeah, it was something. Like, I think the dynamic was great, wasn't it? And you, you know, the likes of Rory Underwood had such, you know, Yai and Evans too. Like they were flying machines. And then you had Jeremy Guskett, who literally came from nowhere, didn't he? Yeah, and to, the power to, of yourself. Yeah, and, Gav. and you know, they were characters. Yeah. And but I always remember going in '93, having been an '89 line to then move on, and you're all gunning for that place because you know it was Guskett who was going to be the shoe in. And Gus gets sort of with the ball and he just takes off. And none of us, like Will Carling, uh, myself, and um, you know, the, the Scotty Gibbs, we couldn't get near him. And yet, look at the relationship that he then developed with Gibbs in the 97 tour. And, 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 and that's why Gus get, you know, was so immense on that 97 tour, that experience as well. Going on a Lions tour is like putting four countries together. Like, first of all, Ireland and Scotland and Wales were all Celts, you know, and even into England, Cornwall, they're Celts, you know. So there's these huge similarities between us. You know, it's not like we're different or hugely different. We speak the same language, we more or less do the same sort of things. But coming together as a side, I think it's a fantastic. I roomed with Richard Hibbard and obviously never spoken a word to him other than played against him and we roomed together and like, he's a good friend of mine now. We got on really well, good guy, completely the opposite of what I expected when you watch him play of how he is actually off the field, but then Something like, like Sean O'Brien was, you know, the leader of the sort of banter and the the crack as such. He, he was hilarious. Um, it was just a good mix. Like everyone con contributed, and then um, it, yeah, it was a it was a funny dynamic at first because you've not really seen a lot of these guys you play against with their hair down and seen them like relaxed and having a laugh. You always see them like in super serious like test match mode, and very rarely like actually have a laugh or, or real any real interaction with them other than like a maybe a beer after the game or see them at the dinner or, or something and so um, it was pretty cool to see everyone sort of in a relaxed social environment and it, it, it was pretty good that everyone sort of mixed mingled quite well. There's only a finite amount of guys have done this you know and honestly when I was growing up and, and setting your goals on wanting to play for Ireland Playing for the Lions was never there. I never dreamt of playing for the Lions because that was always where the, the gods were. That's where the, where the absolute legends of the game. And then suddenly you find yourself, you're playing for your country, coming co close to selection time, and there's, you're getting mentioned in circles and things like that. And only then you allow yourself to think of it. And then eventually you get to go, but what's the first thing that happens? The competitive streak comes in. You have to get on that test side. You have to just get on that team because just sitting back and just in being happy to just be a lion, that's not enough. You want to play in the test side.